So one of my favorite parts of Notion is the fact that you can embed basically anything into the software. Unlike Trello, Asana, Airtable, ClickUp, that isn't really as highly usable. And so that's why I love about Notion is that you can kind of customize it to whatever you want to embed inside. So today I'm going to be walking you through how to embed as well as my 10 favorite things to embed. Five of them are internal use and five of them are external apps that I have discovered along my Notion journey. So let's get to it. Um, my name is Jenna. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to for more Notion content. I'm a marketing educator and consultant and you can uh, learn more about me below as well as make sure to watch more videos. Also comment if there's a type of video you want to see. So let's just head into Notion and I'll show you guys exactly how to embed your favorite widgets and apps into the app. Okay, so I'm going to start with a blank page to show you quickly a few different ways that you can embed things. So let's go into Notion and you're just going to go down here. You're going to click the forward slash and then there's an option. You can scroll all the way down to where it says there's media, so you can either embed an image, which is great, uh, so you can add a photo, a bookmark, a video, which we'll talk about, but let's scroll all the way down to where it says embed. So basically you're gonna click this, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna have an embed link. So for example, let's go over to Spotify and I'll show you where to find that link to embed it. Okay, so let's go to my 2021 playlist, which is one of my favorites. Um, and what you can do is you can actually embed the songs. So let's go into here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the three dots, you're gonna go into share, and then you can either copy link to playlist or embed playlist. I'm just gonna show you what happens. So if I click embed playlist, this is something that you can copy as a code. So you can click copy. So that what that's gonna do is it's going to create a code for you, but it's easier actually to just go click share, copy link to playlist, which is copied into the clipboard. I'm gonna go back to Notion. I'm gonna do Control V, I'm on a Mac, and then click Embed Link. Now, this should automatically embed the playlist, which it does. So you can resize this however you want. Um, you can make it bigger, and it will literally show the playlist. So that is how easy it is to embed a Spotify playlist. This is the first one um, on my list of 10. So Spotify, um, you can also, I believe, embed individual podcast episodes. I've done that myself. Uh, it's basically the exact same thing. I do wanna show you guys what will happen if you use embed instead. So if we go back to Spotify, you can go here, click embed playlist. This way you can actually change like the color if you want to. Or, so where it says show code. So it's using something called iframe, which is what Notion uses for a lot of its embeds. Basically, it means you can embed anything. So if we go here, so if you just click that, doesn't work. So you're gonna have to do the embed again, but then you could, let's see what happens if you do that. It also works, so you could do it that way. Um, but I'm just telling you that it's easier to, to do the shorter one. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can embed in a few different ways. Um, and that's similar to like Google Maps, Google Drive, etc. So uh, I just wanted to show that as an example. So we'll move on to number two. Okay, so the next thing that I like to add is YouTube videos. So what's cool about this is that there's actually a YouTube video option. So if you just type in like YouTube, actually you have to type in video, you can see that you can embed from YouTube, Vimeo, and more. So let me quick find a YouTube video that I want to embed. Um, let's just do this one. It's the first one I see. You might have to click into it. Let's copy and then go back to Notion. You're going to paste and then you're going to be able to embed a YouTube video. You can also use Vimeo, Wistia, whatever. It's very, very easy um, to, and then you can have a YouTube video. I do this on my daily command center with my workouts, so that's very helpful for me to have. All right, so the third one. Okay, so the next thing I wanna uh, talk about is one of my favorites, which is Google Drive. You click forward, type in Drive. You can embed a Google Doc. You can actually choose the document because I've already linked up my Google Drive. So if I click here, I can literally log into my Google Drive. Let's just do um, a photo that I have from one of my podcast episodes. This is actually with a Notion expert. And you can see that it links back to 
uh, the actual image file. So you can embed videos, whatever it is, that's an amazing way to embed is by using Google Drive. Another thing you might not know is I actually am a huge user of Google Photos. So I actually go into Google Photos, you can actually share an album. Let me jump over there real quick. So you can actually embed an album. This is my best of awards that's coming up in the Twin Cities. All I do is I click create link. So I click the share and then click copy. Then I go back here. I do embed just like I would for everything else. And then I paste and you will see that it will actually embed the actual folder. So that's really cool. I actually use this a lot with my coaching clients. I put their Zoom calls into a Google Photos album and then I share it with them. So that's one thing that I like to do. They can click in, get access to that folder. So I highly recommend that. I'm actually more of a Google Photos user than I am a Google Drive because most of my content is image or video based. So I tend to use that a lot more. I just, I think it's better. And so I, I tend to use that a lot. Okay, so the last thing is the last thing I'm gonna talk about that's internal within uh, Notion. The rest are actually external apps that I have used. So the last one is PDFs. So if you type in PDF, it's very cool. You can embed PDFs. So if I click choose a file, so this is a book uh, PDF that I got from, it was a bonus from a book that I read. So you have to make sure that it's under five uh, megabytes. So I use the app ilovepdf.com and that shrinks it, but you can see I have the entire PDF here. You can make it bigger. Unfortunately, you can't really see it on mobile, but it works well on desktop. So that's how you embed a PDF. It's pretty easy. You just have to make sure it's small. I like to put PDFs in my separate PDFs within my brain, which I've talked about in a previous episode, uh, but that's something that I like to do as well. Okay, so the next cool things that you can add in to Notion are widgets. So let's go back to my daily command center. You can see here that I have put widgets and I put a clock in here, I put the weather. I also, if you scroll down, I have a Pomodoro timer. So those are available on sites like IndieFi. So if you go to IndieFi, what another thing you can also embed that I didn't know about if we go back to Notion is I also embedded a Google Calendar. So they have the Google Calendar widget. They also have the clock, weather. They have a ton of different widgets. I really like this website. This is probably the most used widget website for Notion. Um, they have like a life progress bar, quotes. Basically, it's the same thing. You copy the link, whatever you end up making, you paste it in as an embed code. That's all you do, it's copy paste. So that's a really great site. I, I found another one called Get Cairo uh, just through my research. And what's cool is they have these notion blocks that you can make um, that are really interesting and cute. So look, they've got different ones. Um, I'm gonna copy this and see if that works. So let's go back to, ooh, it's making a noise on the website. I gotta mute that. Um, so if we go back to this page, do the embed again, and then let's embed the link and see what happens. So this is really cool because you can actually, you know, check it off. It's free. I really like this. I just started using this. So um, it's very awesome. You can shrink this obviously. Um, but I check out Cairo. I think it's most of them are free. I think you have to upgrade after you use a certain number. Um, but that's a really cool one as well. Okay. So the next one that I found out about recently is called Screenful. I haven't used this one myself, but it's really cool because it has a lot of analytics and reports. So you, I'm pretty sure all these can be embedded, um, but it's very interesting. And I'm I'm not, I need to like learn how to use this, but I just found this and I thought I would share it with you. You can embed it into Notion. Um, so if you're looking for more data stuff, this is a great option. So Plectica is another way to embed more things like mind maps, flow diagrams, task boards, SWOT analysis. So if you're doing any type of strategic planning or planning anything, these are all templates that you can embed inside of Notion. So let's just do the mind map one. Um, let's just do use template. So basically what you do with this is you can edit it how you want. Then when you click share, you can click embed this map, copy code snippet, and then you're going to paste that in the embed code. So let's go back to embed and you will see that you can embed that inside of Notion, which is super cool. So highly recommend checking out that one Plectica. The last two that are probably some of my favorites. I recently got a new template from Landmark Labs and they're inside the Notion Made Simple Facebook group. If you're not in there, make sure to join. They have a ton of resources. But inside of his template, which I believe he's giving out for free right now, so definitely message Landmark Labs if you want that. He 
I actually combined it with my own content creation pipeline. But what I loved about what they had was they actually embedded Google Analytics as well as YouTube Analytics. So this is my current YouTube Analytics setup. You have to set it up with Google Data Studio, uh, but these are you know my current analytics from my website, uh, or sorry, from my YouTube channel, and you can literally embed this inside of Notion. It's the exact same. He actually has some tutorials on how to do that, but I just thought this was so cool. And this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is I wanted to show you guys how all this works and how you can add this as an embed. So the last one I wanna share, I'm sure there's more, but if you're like, I can't embed anything into my website or I, I wanna embed my website into Notion, there is a website called iframe generator where you can put a link to any website so i put my website twincitiescollective.com actually i'm going to do my other one leadgena.com and then you click generate you click copy it you can do the exact same thing if i go back so i can do the same thing i'm going to do embed then I'm going to embed and basically it shows you guys my website. You can go to any link. So this literally is the mobile version of my website. Isn't that sweet? It's so cool. I'm so excited about that. So if you're like, I don't know how to embed this one website, you can embed it using iframe generator. So hope this was helpful for you guys to see all the different ways that you can embed things. My favorite 10 things that you can embed into Notion. Let me know if you guys want more part two or if you want other videos around Notion and I'll talk to you soon.